my opinion on Daniel Bryan as a WWE superstar was that he did a lot more than anyone ever thought he would do. Ever since he debuted in the WWE in 2010, when he was a part of the then Nexus, the only big thing he ever did was choke Justin Roberts an announcer with a tie and then he got released not too far after that but then when he came back at SummerSlam no one thought he would be a threat but then he ended up defeating The Miz to win his first United States Championship and that is when Daniel Bryan's career took off because then in 2011 he cashed in his money in the bank contract and became the new world heavyweight champion and then lost the w and then lost the title at WrestleMania 28 to Sheamus in 18 seconds. And in 2013 that was officially when he became a threat. When he um well, he was a tag team champion with Kane and then when they split up he went on to Monday Night Raw again. And then he was selected by John Cena to face John for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. And he won the match. He won the match. But then he lost the championship when Randy Orton cashed in his Money in the Bank contract and became WWE Champion. And that's when the Authority made their debut. But then at WrestleMania 2014... WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan won back the WWE title. And after he got attacked by Kane, he never competed again until 2015 when he won the Intercontinental Championship and then relinquished it and retired. And he is currently now only just the SmackDown Live, SmackDown Live's general manager. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Yes, yes, yes. Please subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.